Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Sprocket gameplay video. Today we are building a Strum Tiger, which is a really, really, really weird looking, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. I don't think it's a tank destroyer. I I'm not sure, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it and see if we can actually build one. Okay, so apparently the Strum Tiger is the Assault Tiger, which is, you know, German. Um, and it is a World War II German assault gun built on the Tiger One chassis. And armed with a 380mm rocket propelled something or other. Mortar. Okay, so we're going to have to build something really weird for this. Um, I am assuming we don't actually need a turret, so we're going to get rid of that. And uh, we're just going to build it on this little thing right here. And hopefully, it'll all look pretty cool. Okay, so straight in with the base. Let's go ahead and do this to the sides. There we go. That makes sense. And essentially this thing is... Yeah, I guess it's weird looking, but at the same time, we essentially just need this to go inwards. Oh, there we go. Yeah, quite far. About that far. And then it needs to come up like this. And essentially it is, it is this shape. We've already built the right shape. That's amazing. Okay, so as for the wheels and stuff, let's go ahead and go to mobility and we'll start working on that pretty much straight away. So... Go to the tracks, there we go, we're gonna go have interlevered road wheels, yes, that makes sense. And the diameter of those is gonna be relatively large, there we go. Uh, so I'm actually thinking we need like four outside ones, and then, oh actually, this'll work, this'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make the track width a lot wider so it fits, and that is pretty awesome. The idler also needs to be just as wide, so let's bring that out also, there we go, very nice. And uh, that actually fits like that. That looks amazing. I like it. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead and make the fenders come out as well if I can. So width of these is going to be pretty big. Uh, if I could make it go backwards, that would be great. But I don't know if I... Yeah, you see, like, it doesn't really work back here with these pieces. Unless we make this bit go up. Which I'm not sure we can do. Oh, we can. There we go. Alright, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Uh, we can bring this out all the way to the sides, but that is a thick tank. That is a thick tank. We can bring this in. There we go, and I think that looks more like it. Awesome. Right, let's build the mortar. Here we go. Firepower. Heavy. Um, I, I guess this is, like, closest to it, but not really. Uh, what if we use this? No, that doesn't work either. I, I don't know how to make it work, actually. How do I make this work? Um, maybe one of these? Oh, yeah, no, this, this is, like, the right shape. That is definitely the right shape. However, it's just a bit big, isn't it? So the length of the barrel needs to be very tiny. In fact, it needs to be non-existent just like that. Yes. All right, cool. Start thickness, huge. End thickness, huge. Start thickness, end thickness. Caliber, I can't remember. It's like 300 and something. We can't actually make it the right caliber. That's incredible. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Uh, right, as for the end of the gun, let's go with that. And that actually works. Yeah, cool. Alright, the gunner for this is actually going to go, I was going to say in the middle, but we can't actually put it in the middle, unfortunately. Uh, so we're actually going to put it to the side, just there. We won't be able to see one side, but that's okay. Muzzle brakes, that's all fine. We're going to leave those as they are. Uh, and currently, we can't actually fit everything in that we need. So, we're going to make the whole thing higher. So here we go, from the bottom, we're going to make it taller. There we go, we're going to make it longer. And there we go, that actually matches. I think that's pretty good. We'll bring this up as well. If I can bring this down, that would be amazing, but I don't know how to do it. How do I bring the fender down? I'm not sure. Alright, anyway, mobility, let's go back to the tracks and figure out this bit. So, I want the returns to be a little bit higher. Here we go, we'll take them all the way up to there. Good. Uh, we want the idler to be a lot higher too, so let's take that backwards, actually. And uh, diameter of it's actually going to be pretty big. There we go. Uh, and I think, actually, we don't need these return rollers. How do I turn those off? There we go, get those off there. That is nice. All right, cool. The sprocket on the back is a little bit smaller than the rest of them, but it's not too high. So we're actually gonna bring this down. Height, down, there we go, and we'll leave it there. That actually looks pretty good. It looks a lot like the real thing. That's awesome. All right, I found it. So it's actually the sponsors on the side. If we slant it down, then we can actually have them like this, which is perfect because then we can lower this down again. All the way down to there, and that is awesome. Yes, this looks a lot like it. That is cool. Uh, we're actually going to bring this forwards just a little bit like that. Uh, it looks a little bit too chunky on the back for how tall it is, but now it looks better. All right, very good. Uh, and then we're actually going to have the fenders come back a little bit more. 
Uh, just because that makes sense. So section length, we're going to make them actually relatively big. Uh, can I have the freer offset all the way back? That's it. That's far back. That's as far back as it goes. Interesting. All right, cool. Uh, as for the sides and that, it is already in probably about enough, to be honest. Uh, I will do it a little bit more just to make sure. Uh, and that, to me, actually looks fantastic. I really, really like it. Uh, let's go back to the firepower. Grab this bit, and we'll actually whack that on the top. Uh, let's spawn it in and see what we can see through that. Okay, no, that is good. I like that. That's okay. All right, good. So, gun sights are in. Let's get to crew. We'll actually put one of these on the top. Uh, because it's an old-fashioned tank, we'll actually use one of these ones. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure where all of this stuff goes on the top of this thing. Uh, I know it has this weird little crane thing on the back. And I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but I will try. Anyway, uh, let's put these on both sides. If I press X, you can actually do that. That's awesome. Thank you guys for telling me that's a thing. That's very nice of you. Uh, let's go ahead and put these on the back. That's awesome. Crew hatches. We're actually going to put one of these on. Press X. We're going to do this. Massive on the back of here because that's generally how it goes. Awesome. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where we should actually put the exhausts. I'm not sure. I'm assuming, actually, that the exhaust goes, like, on the back. So let's click on base. We'll actually make this bit relatively flat. In fact, we will make it flat. And then we'll go back to mobility, go into the engine, and whack on some exhausts like this one. Because uh, I think it's likely to use these over anything else. So let's go ahead and put two of these on. We'll whack them in right there. That means these need to move somewhere, but they can't, really. They don't fit anywhere else. So we're going to just put them there. That is... That's nice. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Cool. Actually, maybe these should, like, match up with the height. There we go. They should go up there. And then these things can actually go on the bottom. They're not very visible, but that totally works. Cool. Oogly doogly. Vents are going to go on the back of here because I think it just makes sense. That's awesome. We're actually going to put these on the top of here as well because that seems to look pretty cool. Uh, the exhaust, we don't need any more. Transmission, we don't need any of that. Extra fuel tanks would look pretty cool back here, I think. Uh, especially if they were, like, uprights. Kind of like that. I think that looks epic. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, these things, I'm not sure what to do with them, so we'll put them there. It's like extra fuel, but that works. Um, right, okay, cool. Powertrain, don't need anything to do with that. Uh, these things don't actually need to change. Suspension actually seems okay. Go to crew. We'll start working on the rest of this as well. Stowages. Okay, so you would automatically think that putting something here would work. Uh, and I'm actually thinking that's true. So let's move these backwards. Oh, to there. No, that works. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, right, okay. Storages. Let's put these on. So, we'll put them on there, just like that. And they actually look pretty good there. That's nice. Uh, crew hatches. We're not going to use any of those. I'm not sure whether any of them would have had logs on them. I'm really not sure whether any of them would have had logs on them. Uh, but possibly. Let's put one of these on. There we go, right there. And we'll actually put one of these on, on the other side. There we go. And we'll start putting these on as well. So, to lift the tank up, you'd obviously use these things. We'll put that right there. We'll also have some for towing as well, just in case. Uh, right there on the bottom. We're going to have some on the front as well, because that just makes sense. So, let's put those on. And then some for lifting as well, on the tippity top, as well at the back. And there we go. That looks sick. I like that. We need more random things on here too, though. Like we do. We need some of this. Because I think this would just look good. There we go. Awesome. Uh, a random one of these behind it, possibly. There we go. Very cool. And yeah, you know what? That's that's it. Let's add some patches too, because patches are always good. There we go. Patch right there. A smaller patch. And then a bigger patch at the front. Okie dokie. There we go. That is... That's pretty awesome. I like it. I like it. It's very random, but it totally works. Good. Anything else that we really, really need? These logs would be cool on the side too. Or maybe just like a normal log. Let's put that there. Yeah, let's put a log on both sides. It looks it looks nice. I like it. Uh, right, as for the front, we actually need to put a driver's seat in still. So let's go ahead and whack that on. Um, we also could do with a viewing port here. As well as a viewing port probably above the turret too. That looks good. Alright, cool. Yeah. Let's whack those on. That's awesome. Uh, crew hatches, we don't really need any more. However, one on the front would be cool. So let's actually put a crew hatch. Uh, I, can we put it behind this? Can I like put this on there? I can put I can put it above it. I guess that works. All right, drag it down here, and we'll put this like on top of it. That makes sense. All right, cool. I kind of like that. 
Uh, lights we've already done. Utilities, this is all of the utilities. Uh, we'll put a patch right there. We'll actually put a bigger patch above it like this. And that is awesome. That is actually really, really cool. Alright, let's put this on both sides as well. Awesome. One of these would be very nice on the front too. Uh, if I could turn it all the way around. There we go. We can put that there. And actually, if I do put that there, and then we attach another one to the other side, that might look really good. I don't want this bit though. I don't want it on both sides. Okie dokie. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. I like it. This is... This is nice. Alright, cool. Anything else that we really need? Uh, antennas would be nice. Not necessarily useful though, but... You know, possible. Uh, we'll put them on the base of the tank rather than the fender, if we possibly can. Which indeed, we can do that. Alright, here we go. At the back right there. That is awesome. I think we've done actually a pretty good job with this thing. Uh, anything else that we could use to make this look a little bit better? Uh, let's go into here. Uh, we might be able to add something in here, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, extra tank tracks. Oh yes. Here we go. We can whack these on the side and that actually looks amazing. Yes. We need lots of these. Lots of them. Try and attach them together. And that's going to look sick. That's going to look really, really cool. There we go. It's like extra armor as well, which is obviously perfect. There we go. And then probably one more if we can fit it. We can't really fit it, but we're going to go for it anyway. That is cool. Yes. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and paint it real quick. Uh, this livery actually suits the German stuff pretty well, I think. Uh, so we might have to go with it. Yeah, we'll go with this. Kind of interesting. Uh, hue, we can change the way it looks. We can also change its brightness. Uh, we can also change its saturation. Um, yes. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we can also change its scale. We can make it bigger, smaller, and its roughness as well. Somewhat. And we can also make it metallic or dirty as well. Here we go. Dirty. Look at that. Condition. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know what? I really like this thing. It looks good. It looks good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, now we need to actually go back to mobility and make sure it can move under its own engine. So, uh, we're going to build the biggest engine we possibly can. 12 cylinders of 2 litres each. There we... Oh, there we go. Very good. And our power output, max. There we go. Is that going to be enough? I'm not sure. Let's see what it says. Average. Yeah, that works. Alright, let's see if it works. Go. Insufficient force to aim the cannon at a bigger motor. Alright, cool. But, look at it. Look at it. It actually works. Guys, it works. This is amazing. It looks so cool, too. Alright, wait. We need to we need to make sure that the cannon can actually move. But, uh, unfortunately, we, we can't actually make it move. Which is really bad. Um, yeah, if I just make the thickness zero... It still looks like a big cannon, and we might be able to move it now. No, we can't. Is that literally just because of how big the shells are? Let's make the shells smaller if we can, and then have a little look. No, you see? Elevation rate is minus two. We can't actually build this tank the way we need to. That's annoying. All right, well, it looks like our caliber is going to have to come down to something more reasonable, like one, I guess 150. Let's see if that works. Elevation rate is zero. Um... I need to make it better, so we actually need to make it even smaller. Uh, and that means it's a really tiny round, which really sucks, actually. But now we can move the turret up and down. Um, yeah. Now that, that works. Good. Alright, cool. Current manlet does not support azimuth uh, rotation. So with this turret, you can't actually move it side to side. It, it can only fire forwards or up and down. Alright, cool. Well, that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and spawn in an enemy, and we'll see what we can do with it. Alright, the enemy is always the Centurion. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and we'll see what we can do against it. To aim, I need to turn my tank. That's okay. Fire! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It just went sideways. What the? Where is my... Where is it going? Fire again? Hold on. We need to check where mine's actually firing at. Go? At the floor. What the? Oh, maybe that's just because I was looking that way this time. Hold on. All right, go around. Yep, yeah, okay. We want it to fire straight at the tank. There we go. Turn our thing around. Fire. No, that wasn't even the fire button. Damn it. What the heck? All right, ready? Fire. 
Oh, that time it worked. It just doesn't fire very far. Okay, so we're gonna have to like, uh, I guess, rotate up quite a bit in order to make sure it works. But that's okay. It is a mortar, so I suppose you would be firing it pretty much straight up. But anyway, let's spawn in another centurion. There we go. Good, we'll get really close to it. We don't have any armor on the front, so this is dangerous. But let's see what happens here. Right, get closer. Okay, aim up. Fire. And we missed! And it killed me! Damn it! Alright, is there anything I can actually- The penetration on this thing sucks. Like, it's so bad. Um, so the barrel actually should be a bit big. There we go, it should be a little bit longer. That's doubled our penetration, very good. Uh, I don't want it to stick out. I want it to just look like the real thing, rather than... Rather than anything else. So, yeah, we'll just do that, there we go. Can it still move? It can still move. Good. Stat thickness. End thickness. There we go. It can still move. Very good. That's it. Caliber. Let's increase the caliber as much as we can. Alright, it can still move up and down just very slowly. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I know the penetration on this thing sucks, but uh, we'll see what happens anyway. Let's go. Alright, we can still move it up and down just very, very, very slowly. Let's shoot at something else. Let's shoot at, like, this thing. Alright, you ready? Five seconds. This is our elevation rate, by the way. Look at how slow that is. Fire! Where did that hit? Where did that even shoot at? I have no idea. Damn it! Alright, here we go. Five seconds. Come on. Five seconds. And then we'll shoot. There we go. Yes. Okay, so the firing is awful. But you know what? That's it. That's it. It's good. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, I guess final thing we're gonna check then is can it actually cross over the deepest trench that is there? Also, this thing is actually not slow. It travels pretty quickly for what it is. Um, yeah, it is actually traveling relatively fast. So let's go ahead and try and jump over one of these. Here we go. Jump over a trench. And yes, it gets over the widest trench. That is awesome. Cool. Alrighty, well I guess thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like on the video down below. It'll help me out a lot. Also, if you guys are enjoying this game, please subscribe to the channel. There will definitely be more. As well as that, if you guys want to join the Discord, it's also linked down below, as well as my Twitter, uh, where I post things sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to see me build anything else, comment it down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.